What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and you guys might be wondering why am I a locals? Why is Jaden behind me? Well, uh, I'm taking this bad boy home and why are we doing that? Because uh, today, or you guys won't be seeing it on the same day, but today uh, we had our Yu-Gi-Oh! charity event and for our Yu-Gi-Oh! charity event, you play... What? Give me my Jaden back! No! Alright, well, I'll get that back later. Anyways, um, I played Hero today and uh, it was a smaller turnout but it's fine even though it's charity, you guys are all horrible people. Um, and we won. So we got some Burst Destiny packs, that's what we won. And then we won this playmat. And this is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, it's just a regional playmat. Is he playing with my Jaden? That's my Jaden. Anyways, the really cool thing is that uh, we win the Jaden with none other than Elemental Hero. So that's what we're playing today. And uh, so I guess let's get right into the deck profile. We're playing two Stratos. Uh, I still like really like playing two. I don't like playing the third. Um, I think two is all you're gonna ever need. You're always gonna get into this with uh, Hero Lives, uh, you have Rhoda, you have so many different ways to get into it. So two is perfectly fine. I'm playing two Shadow Mist, uh, one Liquid Soldier and one Honest Neos. This card, funny enough, today specifically came up a lot more than I thought it would. So I really like this card. I would not cut it. Uh, I decided to still go with three Ferris. Uh, well, two Vion as well as one Increase. So again, I still kind of don't like the three Ferris. It just feels like I have no follow-up after I've already used it, and it's just extra dead cards. So I still want to cut it to two, but every time I try cutting it to two, I was like, I can't do it, I have to play three. So yeah, we're playing the three for now. Uh, two Mali, one Plasma. This came up once, actually, it was really good when it did. Uh, Denier and Dark Angel. This card underperformed for me today. Um, I was playing Alpha in the finals against Sword Soul, and he, I, I, I put this on him because I was like, okay, if he doesn't have emergence, um, and then he's kind of stuck because he can't use his 10 yees, so this is really good. But then he had a Bistial, so he would just Bistial and plus this into like a dark or link it away, and then it was kind of not great. So um, yeah, I don't know, this card kind of under underperformed today. Um, and then funny enough, I decided to play 3 Ash. I know no one's playing this anymore, but I decided to play it because uh, it was a smaller turnout. And because of that, I saw that there was going to be more Rogue than Tear. And uh, so for that reason, I decided to put this back in before the local. Listen, look, look at me, look at me, look at me. This was before the round started, okay? So I put them in before the local started. It counts, okay? It's not cheating. Anyway, so I played that, and that's it for the monster count, okay? So you guys can see I'm not playing the bells or any of that just because, again, I didn't expect too much tier today. So otherwise, I think you would play bells over ash. But again, just today, I thought more rogue, so I played more ash. Uh, these are the cards you have to play. Three fusion destiny, three in shuffle. Uh, fun fact, I never saw this combo once today. It's a really broken combo, but I didn't see it once, which is kind of sad. Uh, three of this, no one is playing Ash other than me, so this is always going to resolve. Uh, three Mass Change, of course, really, really powerful. One Rota, uh, of course, this is all standard. Oops, one of this. So one Miracle Fusion, as well as one Poly. Uh, do you want to put the camera on Patrick for a second? Look okay, at Patrick. So it was game two again in our round, um, and he flipped anti-spell on me, and I had four spells in my hand. It's kind of unfortunate, but um, good yeah. times, good you, times. you still got to play these, right? So you play one on one, and then again, because I saw more rogue, I decided to play two droplets. Um, so what I did a lot today, funny enough, was I actually made ab zero a lot whenever I could, and then I would ab zero either with mass change to make acid, or I would actually send ab zero for droplet. And ab zero just says it has to leave the field. It doesn't matter if it's by effect, card effect, or whatever. So uh, you have zero blow up the whole board, which is kind of nice. So I played two of these and then I main deck the back row hate. Um, it was fine. Didn't see any like border control or anything, but uh, I still think uh, it makes a lot of sense to play main deck back row hate. But again, if you're playing into a more of a tier locals, I would say cut the droplets, cut the three ash for like three bell and skull meisters, right? But just for today specifically, I played these. That's for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck. So uh, for the extra deck here, uh, fittingly, we have the Jade and Yuki sign token for Jade. Yeah, fittingly, you know, it is what it is. You got to do it. Um, and then we're playing Double Dark Law, of course. Oh, this is not organized whatsoever. So we're playing the Double Dark Law on the Anki. This never came up. I thought it was going to come up more than it did, and it didn't. Uh, this one also never came up last, so maybe you can cut that as well. I, I don't think people are on Imperm and stuff anymore, so I think maybe Blast is very much cuttable now. Just the more I test the deck, the more I feel like there's different things you can do. Uh, we're playing the one Ab Zero as well as the one Acid. This is pretty mandatory, I would say, just because, like... You know, you're blowing up entire boards, you're blowing up back row. Like, this is just a field wipe, which is really good into, like, any matchup except tier, essentially, right? So that's why I like this. Uh, we're playing the one Sunrise, pretty mandatory. One uh, Trinity, this card helps you just push for a lot of game, or a lot of damage, I mean. And then the one DPE. And uh, DPE was really good for me, of course. It got hit um, with Bastille's today, which was kind of sad, but... Uh, otherwise, it's still pretty good. It's important to set up Dark Angel. And then for the Link Monsters, we're playing two Cross Crusader, one Wonder and one Dread. This actually came up today, it was funny, but it was good. And then I decided to play uh, in the side deck, which you guys will see, Super Poly. So I'm playing two Super Poly targets. 
this came up once this didn't come up but this came up once so yeah it was pretty good that's it for the extra deck 15 cards of course um the extra deck is weird like sometimes i think it's tight sometimes it's like i don't go into anything it's, it's just it's like day by day kind of thing uh first side we're playing three storm to our geki i still really like this three zombie world and this so funny enough um this is actually really good so round one i played mathmex and in theory these are really good against mathmex because they stop them from being cybers and then they can't use them as link material and then when i played sword soul technically they're good because they're not worms but again i didn't see it so i sided them in i just never saw them uh then we're playing three super poly to break boards and then three rivalry uh, i think the side deck is like pretty perfect so yeah that's it for the deck profile um i got the packs i got the Jaden. thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't are, are you tanning into june or is it just a nice a nice headshot of me and the boy all right make sure to like and subscribe and with that stay go excited out peace